Hello everybody, welcome back, this is Stefan playing Stellaris, and today we're going to continue on with episode 9 of our series of playing tall on the Grand Admiral difficulty. So let's resume. So due to a recent issue with uh, one of my computer's cooling fans, I had to uh, completely restructure my setup, and uh, this time it's even jankier than before, and um, I didn't think I could outdo myself there. But anyways, um, as the Admiral of Lithian League, we were able to uh, take two territories, from the Ixi Citizen Republic. It ended up being uh, pretty damn close, but we managed to secure two territories. We still have claims on a decent chunk of their space, uh, and I hope to realize that in uh, one of the future wars. Although hopefully this episode will not be mired by war like uh, all my other ones. Uh, in 10 months we'll be getting the Mega Engineering Technology, and uh, that's gonna be quite exciting. Research concluded. All right, we have obtained our mega engineering technology. Now we can also uh, get some battleship hull points uh, increased because uh, battleship monofleets are what we're going to be using for this series. And now we're able to unlock the pretty amazing Galactic Wonders Ascension perk. Yes, indeed. So overall, we have achieved uh, the status of being able to build mega structures in year 2295. If any of you have beaten this, uh, please leave a comment down below. I would be interested to see uh, who made it before me. But anyways, this is a pretty damn good time to be having your first mega structure being constructed. And uh, indeed, that's what we're gonna do. Hmm, all right. All these starting sites take about four years to complete. However, if we are going for the Nexus, uh, we're gonna need 30k minerals. Uh, by that time and uh, we for sure are not gonna be able to accomplish that so instead I'm gonna go for the ring world once we can since uh, that's something we can actually afford otherwise uh, our research capacity will be increasing exponentially uh, with these research habitats so that's not really gonna be a problem Ooh, interesting the juvans display psionic potential Latent psionic powers have begun to manifest in certain individuals belonging to the Juhuvian species, according to leaked reports from the authorities in the Juvan Interstellar Confederacy. This must be a fairly recent development since we have no record of Juvans ever displaying psionic abilities on file. According to the leaked reports, these powers are so far limited to a very small minority of the Juvan species as a whole. Scientists in the Juvan Interstellar Confederacy have offered no explanation. And they're not even the spiritualist type. Uh, how interesting. But regardless, uh, we're going to be gunning for our own ascension uh, once we can. Research. I hope to go for the psionic one, as I mentioned before. And uh, that should be all good. Oh, finally, Galactic Administration. Uh, that took a while. I might want to save up some influence for that because, uh, you know, it costs 200 influence to actually change our civics. And uh, yeah. Otherwise, we're getting the Tracheon Lance, and uh, our battleships are going to be coming along very nicely. You know, all these guys want migration packs with me, but they just don't realize that we're secretly xenophobes. You know, the government harbors undisclosed ideas, and uh, those ideas are only going to show in like two decades. All right, looks like um, there's gonna be war against uh, Mutherian Eradicators. And uh, I do hope that the war will go down very well. Also, the whole uh, threat thing does seem to uh, go away after a while. And uh, in fact, no one thinks we're a threat anymore. Uh, so that's quite nice. So yeah, now that we have uh, 10K minerals, we're gonna go ahead and uh, build a nice little ring world. I think I'm gonna do it over in Fumar. And so it's going to be close uh, to the L cluster where uh, we're going to make our second home. All right, let's see here. So the Jaws of Oz Democratic Dominions uh, want to invite us into a faction once more. Uh, no. However, these guys want a non-aggression pack though. I take it. So the reason I want as many non-aggression packs as possible with all the different uh, peeps is so that I have uh, border access to everyone. And uh, with border access I'm going to be able to access all the ill gates. And uh, that is just in case we get this uh, one special event from opening the ill gate. Uh, which summons uh, basically a couple uh, ether drakes that you can tame. And uh, yeah they're free. And I'm pretty sure they can spawn in anyone's ill gate. 
so I'm gonna have to be able to uh, warp around and uh, check them out. Plus, having non-aggression packs has the obvious benefit of, you know, not having peeps attack us, which is always nice. Also, we now have the chance uh, to choose another ascension tree, and uh, for this, I think I'm gonna actually go for supremacy. We're gonna want to uh, go to war after we're done with this uh, pacifist phase of the playthrough. And uh, that event is gonna be marked by us cracking open the ale gate. But we're gonna need about 700 influence uh, for our first transition uh, to xenophobia, then uh, 500 more uh, in like 20 months. And then we're gonna need uh, 500 more in order to obtain the militarist ethic. And that is so we can go, uh, you know, Miltrust, Fanatic, Xenophobe, and uh, Crush the Galaxy. So for now, I'm gonna go for the best thing I can really come up with, uh, which is Environmentalist, and uh, that should grant us a little bit of extra minerals per month, which is gonna help us out quite a bit. All right, ring world construction. We're now ready to begin the colossal task of building the initial frame of our future ring world around the primary star of the fallen mirror system. The amount of resources and materials required to build this skeletal frame will be immense, and hundreds of thousands of our finest engineers will stand ready to begin the process of dismantling the system's planetary bodies into matter which can be used for construction. We are making history. Yeah, in just uh, a short little year or so once we get uh, the minerals necessary to do this. Oh shit, no way, the diplomacy traditions uh, actually work now, and uh, so their trust is increased. Before it was only really increased for like curators and traders, which was completely unnecessary. Since you only need 50 to access uh, whatever bonuses they offer. Alright, we can now uh, start building the Ringworld frame. Also, I do have to note something interesting. Uh, on our habitats, we're actually unable to build um, you know, your typical uh, unity building. And I find that quite odd because uh, you can put down auto channel monuments and uh, stuff like that just fine. But spiritualists don't like habitats, I guess. I mean, I don't see why you can't worship on a hunk of metal in space, but whatever. Come on, man, we've been through this already. What are you doing? This is so stupid. All right, well, we're gonna hopefully um, claim all this land. Your navy strength is um, a bit more powerful though, uh, which is a bit of a problem. And um, yeah, we actually don't have any resources to back up this war. And uh, that is because we're, you know, building mega structures. Forgive me, I guess. But if I've learned anything from the AI, uh, they actually don't like attacking me for whatever reason. Uh, so this could work out just fine. I could just chill here. I could just chill here for eternity. All right, so we have research zero, and uh, let's see here. Do we have any zero on our territory? It doesn't actually look like it. What? I thought I was guaranteed to appear in nebulas, but guess not. Yeah, why is that a thing? So I've just researched that for nothing, I guess. God damn it. Also, it seems that I'm criminally underusing my star bases, and uh, that is not okay. Well, in my defense, I don't really have anything uh, to defend at this point, so whatever. Oh wow, I was wrong. Again, what a surprise. Uh, so looks like uh, these guys will actually attack us. And um, they're gonna suffer. I'll make sure of that. I'll see if I can sneakily upgrade my battleships uh, before they arrive though. Um, we may be able to do that. But regardless, we should be able to fend them off uh, relatively easily. You know, they may just come in and uh, take this base. Whatever. Alright, we have a request from the Jazgavaz Democratics. Engineers from the Jazgavaz Democratic Dominions have been following the construction of our ring world from afar and are greatly impressed by our progress. They request our permission to station a team of engineers there to learn from our efforts. And uh, actually, we got uh, some engineering out of that too. After spending several weeks on the ring world, the engineers from Jazgavaz Democratic Dominions have now left. Despite their cultural differences, both teams were satisfied with the exchange efforts and learned so much from each other. The more you know, I guess. Construction project concluded. Yeah, we upgraded our ships and uh, they went from 5.5k to 9.6k. Uh, yeah, come at me, bro. 
Uh, please just don't screw me over, AI. Please. No. No. It kind of screwed me over. They just took the two systems. They didn't even bother to assault us. Uh, well, that's just fine. We're going to be able to build up a couple more battleships. And uh, hopefully with that, we're going to be able to take a bit more of their territory. They seem to be overusing uh, their cruisers and corvettes. And uh, they seem to be overusing kinetics on uh, both of them. So that's uh, quite exploitable. We're going to be able to just uh, put on a bit more armor on them. And uh, it's going to go down all well. Wow, really? <laughs> Still neutral after all that? Well, screw you too. Anyways, um, got some uh, pretty tragic news. Zero Corp has been destroyed. And um, you know what? I'm not too opposed to that. Yeah, you know, screw those guys. Doesn't really matter too much. We weren't trading with them anyway. Our policy is that if it doesn't affect us, it doesn't matter. Also, I'll be building a couple uh, solar power generators on my habitats. And uh, that is because we're going to need some more energy credits to make all our transactions, curators, the artisans, and um, the curators once more for the Elgate Insights. It's not going to be a detriment uh, to get some more energy production up and running. I mean, we could sacrifice uh, our energy production and get some more um, minerals, but I don't think it's really worth it. So instead, I'm just going to um, go for cheap tech. Now, if we had a Dyson Sphere to go along with that, uh, that'd be quite nice, but unfortunately, we're only going for a, a nice little ring world. And in fact, we're going to have to start saving up for that because uh, that's coming up in five years. But anyways, uh, at this point, we're now pretty much equivalent with their fleet. And I mean, our fleet is a bit lo more long range uh, than theirs, so that could be quite the benefit. Construction project I think I'll build uh, one more mouse and uh, we'll be able to roll out. Now we are capped on naval capacity, but I do want to replace a couple of these uh, cruisers with a single battleship. And uh, after that, we're gonna come at them. Yeah, also, I will uh, want to start going for some uh, space torpedoes. And uh, that is to build a nice uh, little torpedo fleet so that we can come over here and um, take out the scrapper. Although I don't, although right now I don't see it. And uh, that may be because we don't have an active communications link. So uh, let's get that up and running. Yep, it's still there. All right, no problem. But anyways, uh, I think we're now ready. We have a uh, 20K fleet power. And uh, now we can start and um, and now we can go ahead and uh, take back our territory. Because in fact, this territory was once ours. So what I think I'll try to do is I'll actually uh, try to go ahead and bait them. What I want to see is uh, how they're going to actually react to just a single cruiser. And uh, whether or not we can just uh, bait their fleets with that. We're going to station our other fleets over at the jump point And see if they uh, try to go ahead and attack. If they do, that's going to be quite awesome. Yep, they are following Classes 3. And uh, Classes 3 is just going to chill here. This cruiser will probably uh, get absolutely decimated. And uh, actually, it did not. So that's quite fortunate. Now we're able to engage 13k of their fleet power with uh, 20k of ours. And uh, yeah, fair fight. And yeah, I love fair fights. Well, fair fights uh, with a fair bit of uh, quotation marks around them. Although it does seem that our fleet doesn't actually hold up all that well against uh, their swarm of corvettes. And uh, that is because we have uh, quite a lot of battleships in our fleets. Uh, they have way too many corvettes and we don't have a way to deal with them quite yet. <laughs> oh yeah, now they want a peace offer, uh, right after that. Uh, no, you have one of our systems, and uh, we can't allow that. It is highly unfortunate how many uh, ships we lost though. I was expecting um, much better results, but I guess uh, that was not meant to be.
Uh, we're gonna absolutely devastate your little uh, cruiser fleet over there. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna devastate um, your other attack swarm right here. It's no big deal. Also, we should be able to salvage uh, quite a bit of tech from that. Uh, so that's gonna be quite nice. Yeah, I certainly need something to deal with all these corvettes because my fleet is uh, kind of struggling. And uh, that is not nice at all. You know what's quite interesting actually? I think I've been in more wars uh, than with my Fnatic Purifier playthrough. With my Tall playthrough, which is Fnatic Pacifists. It's like, what, what is this? It's not supposed to be happening. Also, I may be able to actually invade them, which would be quite nice. I presume that it's because uh, their fleets are retreating to somewhere over here and uh, not getting back in time. So yeah, overall I would say uh, this is probably payback for um, all that they've caused. I think I'll just go with the Butcher for a uh, general and uh, we're just gonna invade right here right now. Yeah guys, uh, you had your chance, you're not getting a piece. Hmm, they have quite the attack swarm right here, actually. So I just set the home base for those guys, and actually it's gonna be 14 days before they can jump. Well in that case, I think I'm just gonna uh, end the war right here. Uh, I may not get Evgamar, but it's gonna end this battle. Should end this battle. That is actually so dumb. So they've continued the battle. Or uh, destroying one of our battleships. And then they uh, settle the status quo. Also, we have um, an egalitarian faction popping up. Um, what? Oh, I think I know why, actually. Uh, there were a lot of egalitarians on Hadar. And uh, once it got transferred, yeah. So once it got transferred, we got an egalitarian faction. Well then, um, my bad. I should have uh, set default rights to uh, undesirables. That way they wouldn't have uh, formed a faction. And actually, the faction is already gone, so thank god. Also, Polarians also display psionic potential. And uh, this time they're actually spiritualists, so that makes sense. Also, we're going to be able to upgrade Graban and uh, make that our choke point instead of uh, Tyrim. So, not bad. Uh, so, for next episode, we're going to have to save up some uh, minerals in order to get our uh, first ring world section up and running. Also, what is quite interesting that I see here is that the Valdiri Foundation has actually invaded. The United General Holdings may no longer be a threat, which will be pretty interesting. We're going to lose uh, some rivalry opportunities. Uh, but otherwise, they're gonna get wrecked. And you know what? Hopefully it happens to the Ixi Citizen Republic just as well. Regardless, uh, this has been it. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing. I upload relatively regularly. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys next one. Bye-bye.